seven and a half laps. Men's A race, 3,000 metres. Got a little bit of elite end talent in this one. Jeff Risley, two-time Olympian. It's good to see him back racing. Some domestic competitions. Alex Rowe. Two-lap representative of the World Championships in Moscow. He's in there as well. We've got two pacemakers, Justin Rinaldi, Daniel Balassone, the front of the field. Rose is going to lead in behind them. The man in the Halebury colours, that's Matt Bailey. Back there to Clark, Risley in the Knox colours. Fourth up there is the fastest man in the field. Geared, Athletics Essendon. Jordan Nelson, a couple of old Melbourneian runs in there in Smithers. The field stretched out early. I'm told 66 seconds is what they're looking for, 400s. It's the pace they're going to set up. See Ronaldi check his watch as they'll take them through the first 400 metres. I reckon they'll be pretty close to the mark, maybe a fraction quicker. So 65, 66 through the first 400 metres. Ronaldi, Balasso in the top two pacemakers on the track, row the best to the entrance. He's in the third place. So seven and a half laps. They've gone through one full 400 metre circuit and they'll come down to collect six laps remaining here at Melbourne University. A balmy December's evening, the shadows of Christmas. Rinaldi, a couple of people be looking for Christmas presents, a personal best here tonight. So row in third place in between the two pacemakers. Rinaldi Balassone, 8.22 is the season's best as St Kevin's athlete has listed. Bailey in behind him, Clark. A couple of times, the 1500 metre champion of Victoria, Jeff Risley. Well, he's got a Victorian 1500 metre title as well. He's also got a couple of green and gold tax suits in his wardrobe. So Jeff Risley, sixth place, he's one to watch. Rowe locked in behind the pacemakers at the front of the field. To so see Rinaldi step off, he's done his job for two laps, about 2.14. Bellasone will stretch them out. Rowe behind him, Bailey, Clark, Risley and Geard. And your top five in behind the pace of Bellasone. Well, watch the split. Now, 1,000 metres. 8.14 is the fastest time recorded this season. Tom Forthorpe's got that. Bellasone's going to take them through at about the 2.45 mark right there. 8.15 pace on the ring. Rowe, Bailey, Risley looks so effortless there in fifth place. Geared in behind him, Clark there. Fourthorpe, Nelson, a couple of the Knox runners there. Craig Appleby, it might even be just in behind him. Smithers there in the old Melbourneian kit. Of course, Tim Norton, Dow of Box Hill, Island of Killer St. Bernard, St. Stephens, Lachlan Aspinall, William Potter, Andrew Stevenson of Knox and Box Hill. They round out this full field. So really stretched out now. Here on the Melbourne University track, well past twilight hours. We're under lights. Here in the final VMC meet of 2013. As Daniel Balassone doing the job as the pacemaker. They're wanting 66s and he's delivering at this stage. Just start to see the field just starting to bunch up on the pace. I reckon we'll see him step off shortly. So Rowe, Bailey, Clark, Risley. Geared fourth up there, having to work wide there in the green of Ringwood. He's dropping off the back is Dow in the black and white of Box Hill. Bellasone still surging down the back straight. Rowe in behind him. Bailey, Risley. Form athletes where you'd expect them to be right at the front. There's a bit of class there in that lead pack. As we see Risley really starting to stretch out now. He was so comfortable there back in fifth place. Maybe a little too comfortable. And he's happy to stretch out there. He gets a bit of encouragement there from the fans hanging over the fence. 200 metres start. So it'll be three laps remaining when they move through the start finish area. 1200 metres from home. And Jeffrey Risley will lead him in the home stretch. Really looking comfortable. A very distinct figure he cuts here on the track at the Melbourne University. Parkville campus. We we'll see Jordan Nelson of Knox in behind him. Geard, Bailey, back to Appleby, Clark, Thorpe. Rowe now in a battle with Smithers and Buckingham. 
Back there to Ireland, Aspinall Potter. So it's Risley starting to stretch out and making the field hurt just that little bit. We'll watch the split at 2,000 metres. They went through in 2.45 the first K. We're looking for about 5.30 at halfway. We'll suggest they're on that 8.15 pace and I reckon they're right there where they need to be. About 8.28, 8.29, if not a little bit inside that 8.15 schedule and Risley just, he's just so still in his upper body and the legs doing all the work. Great poise. It's the second fastest man all time over two laps for Australia. And it's Risley doing very nicely at the front of the field. Gibb making sure that gap doesn't extend too much. And it's not through surges from the man at the front, it's just consistency. It keeps peeling off those laps, two laps remaining, 6.02. Gibb, gap back there, Appleby holding strong. Clark, Nelson, Bailey, Forthorpe, Smithers and Buckingham. Back there to row, Ireland, your top 10. But Risley just continues to stretch out down the back straight and just puts the foot on the accelerator with the utmost of ease. As it's Appleby up into second place, Geard's there with him. A lot of encouragement down the back straight for our race leader. Jeffrey Risley, we're gonna watch the clock. He'll kick, collect the bell, one lap remaining. Up the home stretch, 500 metres from home in this 3,000 metre A race. Victorian Milers Club meet the last 2013 and a little bit of a, a show of class here from Jeffrey Lorisley. Stretching out over the field, 30 metres his advantage. Daniel Clark in a second. Risley will take the bell, 7.05. Let's see what he can do the last lap. Really stretching out, a lot of power in those legs, Clark. Appleby, Geard, back to Nelson, Bailey, Forfort, Smithers and Buckingham rounds out the top eight. And let's travel down the back straight with the race leader, Jeffrey Risley. We've seen him fly his trade over two laps and over the metric mile, but over seven and a half laps, he's looking very impressive here at the Melbourne University track. He'll get spurred on 200 metres from home. The battle there for second place is enticing as well. It's Appleby and Clark but it's Risley at the front of the field. I don't watch the clock, 7.45, just on 100 metres from home. 8.15 was what they set their sights on, but I reckon we're gonna go a little bit faster. So it's Risley at the top of the turn, well clear of the field, but he's going for the time. Let's have a look, you might miss out on eight minutes, but Jeffrey Risley stretches out effortlessly to take the 3,000 metres. It's great to see him back and racing. 8.09, he really dropped it that last couple of laps. Clark will get second from Appleby. Geard, Forthorpe, the battle for the top five. And Forthorpe will get there, back over Geard. Nelson and Buckingham and Smithers will round it out. Back to Bailey, the top 10. The men's 3,000 metre A race.